you called him a socialist, you called the president a socialist, and you, and you used this uh, memorable phrase that business leaders were, quote, sitting on their thumbs until he's gone. Uh, but, but they're not really. I mean, you're not, you haven't been d doing that. I mean, yes, I have. You, you haven't done a thing. You haven't. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, because I'm lucky and I'm in business in Macau, I brought 100 or 150 or 200 million back and invested it in redoing the hotel for 100 million, uh, building new beach clubs and doing things like that, and giving my employees cost of living increases even when the place was losing money. Because I'm very lucky that we have a very conservative uh, approach to business. We don't believe that just because the economy jumps up and down that we should be jump, uh, bouncing our employees around. That's no way to run business. And you didn't business. amass debt like a lot of the other companies that either, but, which helped, right? But, but you say, when I talk about the sitting on the thumbs yeah. remark, which I'm doing right now, <laughs> which means keeping your, your bankroll in your pocket. I did what I had to protect my employees in Las Vegas and to protect my service levels for my existing customers. But you know that for the past 45 years, I've always been in construction in Nevada. I've created about 250,000 direct and indirect jobs, according to the state of Nevada's measurement. That's exactly, it would have the numbers 250,000, that's exactly 250,000 more than this president, who I'll be damned if I want to have him lecture me about small business and jobs. I'm a job creator. Guys like me are job creators, and we don't like having a bullseye painted on our back and having class. The president has tried to put himself between me and my employees. How? By doing class what? warfare, by, by, by deprecating and calling a group that makes money billionaires and millionaires that don't pay their share. I gave 120% of my salary and bonus away last year to charities, as I do most years. I can't stand the idea of being demagogue that is put down by a president who's never created any jobs and who doesn't even understand how the economy works. And I'll make, give you an example. Across the street from my hotel, uh, the Wynn and Encore, is the, what used to be the Frontier property, owned by an Israeli guy who is a friend of mine named Isaac Shuva and another Israeli who's got, had the other half of that business called Nochi Dunkner. Two Israelis, very successful businessmen in, in Europe and Israel. And one of them even has the Plaza Hotel in New York. They got a little carried away in the heat of all the excitement in 05, 06, and 07, and 06, and they overpaid for a piece of property, the frontier. Half of it was not even owned. It was leased by Margaret Alardi for four million a year in rent. The other, six, that was 16 acres. The other 18 acres was owned in fee. So they got a whole of 34 acres. They paid a billion two for it. Then they borrowed some more money and they ended up being in over a billion dollars for a piece, for an empty piece of property that you see sitting out on the strip. They came to me and said, look, Steve, we, uh, they're, they're sophisticated guys. We made a miscalculation. We want to, we realize we're going to have to invest our way out. How about going in with us? You run it, you design it. We'll build a new hotel, call it the Wind Plaza. We'll add it to the golf course and the convention and theaters that you have. Maybe we'll put in, I said, I'll put an arena there, uh, some other things, and make it a great convention kind of hotel and connect it across the road to us. That would have been an investment of $2 billion, would create at least another 10,000 regular jobs and another 25 or 30 indirect. I could do that and we could get the money. What happened? I'm afraid of the president. I have no idea what goofy idea what crazy anti-business program this administration will come up with. I have no idea. And I have to tell you, John, that every business guy I know in the country is frightened of Barack Obama and the way he thinks. He's had a pattern all his life. And there's no reason to ignore it. His associations, his principles, all have to do with a very anti-colonial, anti-establishment anti guy. And, and, for example, here's a guy that stopped the drilling in America in the Gulf, but gave $3 billion to Brazil, Colombia, and Mexico for drilling of oil on their turf, and yet put his foot on all the drilling in the Gulf after the accident with, uh, with British Petroleum. 